Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is another unscripted rambling video and the topic of today's video is the physical media community's reaction to my debt confession video that I did post just four days ago. A lot has been discussed in four days, a lot has happened, and I have seen a lot of different reactions. So I did want to address them really quickly and my thoughts about these reactions and what I'm thinking about this entire situation so far. So if this is the first video that you are clicking on, then let me get you caught up really quickly. So obviously I am a physical media collector here on YouTube. However, over the years, I've really racked up an enormous amount of debt, which I did discuss in my debt revealed video. It's a little bit over $26,000. Now I'm fully taking account of this debt. I am really committing myself to not picking up any more physical media until my debt is completely paid off. I am not a victim in this situation. I knew what I was doing. I was trying to keep up with the Joneses and that's not the way to collect. And I am recognizing that. I'm recognizing the problem. I'm taking responsibility. And this is also the main reason why I'm becoming so public about this situation, because I feel like everyone that's been commenting and all of my supporters will hold me accountable. So since I posted that video, a lot has been happening on social media reacting to this video that I just spoke about. So the first instance that I do want to discuss or just talk about is Twitter. Okay, so yes, I was acknowledged on Twitter by someone. So it was, I think, a day or two ago and I was scrolling through Twitter. I don't call it X, by the way. I will never call it X. It's always going to be Twitter to me. So I was scrolling one night on Twitter, as I do, and I go to Twitter for a lot of notification and updates for new movies coming out and streaming updates. So I'm frequently over on Twitter. So as I was scrolling through, I noticed that a very prominent figure in the physical media community did make a tweet about my video. Now, he did not mention me by name, which I really do appreciate. He kept me anonymous. He did not say my, my name, my YouTube channel, nothing like that. He only mentioned how easily it is to get into a debt if you're not careful. The post was not negative. I just want to say that right off the bat. The post was not negative. It actually was kind of more of a forewarning, like this can happen to you, blah, blah, blah. So I appreciate the fact that uh, the person, I'm not going to say who it is because I'm not here to call out anyone or mention anyone's names. So I did appreciate the fact that the person that did make this post did not mention me, was respectful. He himself did not make a negative comment, but you can imagine that there were replies to that tweet. And of course I had to look at them. Of course, if you, you know, come across something that's about you, of course you want to see what other people are saying and thinking. So of course I scrolled down to all of the replies and I haven't been back to that post since. So I've only seen about, I think 50 replies. It could be more than that. I have no idea. This person that did the tweet or this person that tweeted, there we go. Proper English, Susan. This person that tweeted usually gets a lot of views on their tweets. So I'm not sure, or post, I'm not sure if the replies have grown or not. But when I first came across it, it was around 50 something replies. And I do have to say that the majority of the replies were positive, giving me support. I hope she gets out of the situation. I hope she does well. I saw the same video. Of course, there were a couple of what I like to call negative Nancys in the group, but that is to be expected. I mean, people that don't truly know me or understand me or even watch my channel on a regular basis are just going to make a quick judgment about me. I knew this, I knew this was going to occur. I knew when I opened this door to reveal so much about myself and my debt, I prepared myself for this. 
I was mentally preparing myself for January because that's when I initially was planning on doing this as a New Year's resolution. But because of everything happening with my car, I did have to, you know, kind of make it happen right now. So I was already mentally prepared for the negative comments and the negative statements and saying, you know, I'm irresponsible. What am I doing? I'm a victim. All those negative, all those negative comments I was ready for. So with Twitter, the post, like I said, the initial post was not bad. It was just, you know, a forewarning positive, I guess, you know, but not negative, which was most important to me is that that initial post was not negative and it wasn't. So a few, you know, judgments here and there, but mostly positive with replies. So that's great. So I was posted about on Twitter. Okay. So that's the first, <laughs> that's the first reaction that I saw. Then, I mean, this is other than the comments that have been coming through on all of my videos, just to let you know. This is kind of more on, you know, physical media platforms and things that I'm noticing, you know, things like that. So then speaking of YouTube comments. So when I was going through and answering back comments on my videos, I came across one comment that said, who's here from Reddit? And I said, what? <laughs> I'm on Reddit. Now, I don't really go on Reddit because to me, Reddit is kind of a community of trolls, if you will. If you're a regular over on Reddit and you're not a troll, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend you. But I feel like Reddit is kind of like a breeding ground for a lot of negativity and people kind of just feed off of each other in that environment over there because that was the platform when I went over to see what's happening. Of course, I'm going to go over there and see what people are saying about me. So I went over to Reddit. I searched myself. I eventually found the post. There was easily over 200 comments. So I'm going down and I'm scrolling through and I am reading every single one. And I have to admit, there's a lot of negativity over there. I will say there were maybe two handfuls of positive comments and supportive comments, which I really do appreciate. Maybe like 20 out of 200, which is not really that great. Like I said, I do believe Reddit is kind of a breeding ground for negativity and, you know, being a keyboard warrior and all of that. And people were just judging me so harshly and, you know, saying I'm a victim. That came up a lot. And that's the reason why I kind of brought that word up in the beginning of this video. I am not a victim. I want to stress this yet again. I'm not having a victim mentality. I am having an accountable mentality. I am holding myself accountable for what I have done with my situation. Is it ideal? No, it's absolutely awful. I am not a victim at all. I'm not playing the victim. If I was playing the victim, I would set up a GoFundMe account, which I'm certainly not going to do. I'm not going to have other people donate to pay off my debt situation. To me, that is one of the worst things. That would be me taking advantage of other people, and I would never, ever do that. I am holding myself accountable. I know what I have done. So anyway, reading through these nasty comments on Reddit, I have everyone calling. First of all, everyone's calling me a Karen. When have I ever displayed Karen behavior on this channel? I don't even know when I've, when and if I've ever done that. I mean, th I'm the type of person you don't want to push my buttons because I will defend myself. I mean, anyone would if they're backed into a corner or if you're feeling insulted in some kind of way, of course, you're going to stick up for yourself. But I'm not a Karen. I'm not. I've never been that way. My mom raised a very strong woman. So I'm a strong person. There's nothing wrong with being strong and having a dominant personality. I'm sorry if that kind of like intimidates some people out there, but that's just me and I'm not going to stop being myself. 
So I'm a Karen and obviously there is the easiest dig to take at me, which is what I look like, my weight. I can't even tell you how many people were digging at me about my weight. I'm a whale, I'm fat, I'm big. Do you not realize I have a mirror and I know what I look like? The thing is, I've been dealing with what I look like for all of my life. And at this point, at 44 years old, your little comments calling me fat and a whale literally just bounce off of me. And you want to know why? Because I've literally heard every single fat shaming comment thrown at me my entire life. So you little keyboard warriors out there and you trolls, you know, doing your thing over there, you're literally not hurting me. If you think you are, you're not. All I do is hit a button and I remove your comment and it leaves. Obviously, I can't do that over on Reddit. I wish I could, but I can't. But anytime, especially when I first started this channel, I got huge amounts of fat comments. And you know what? You just get removed. You just get deleted. There really is no point in you leaving a comment like that. If you don't like me, that is fine. Don't watch my channel because there's plenty of other people out there that do watch my channel and do enjoy what I talk about and what I do. So if you don't enjoy me, that's why there's so many other channels that you can watch if you prefer, you know, Basement Blues or Mid-Level Media or, you know, anyone else. That's great. That is perfectly fine. Go and watch them. That is fine. So that's what I was getting over on Reddit. Mainly, I'm a Karen calling me Movies and Karen. Wow. Brilliant. So brilliant. Movies and Karen, call me a Karen and fat comments. So that's pretty much the reaction over there. And obviously shaming me up and down all over Reddit. I'm a victim. I have victim mentality. Oh, I don't have a job. I do. I do have a job. It's not the most conventional job. But it is a job and I have two jobs. I work DoorDash Uber Eats and I also make money here on YouTube. And you guys know that because I did that video explaining all about, you know, the revenue that I've received over the past couple of months to the past year. So, I mean, I don't know what these people are talking about saying that I don't earn money. It's not like I'm sitting back with no job whatsoever. I can't work right now because I don't have a car. I don't have a car, so I can't work. That's why I've been stepping up my YouTube content because I need to make up for the fact that I've lost my car. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand why other people don't get it. So over on Reddit, this is like everything that everyone has been saying about me, and I just find it funny. I haven't been back over there to check the comments if they've increased. I'm sure they have. I'm sure this video is going to end up on Reddit. You know what? And I'm just going to get slaughtered all over again. It's going to be a never ending cycle, I am sure. But moving on to the last subject that I do want to discuss, and that is the actual physical media community here on YouTube. What has been their reaction? to my debt confession and the other honesty videos that I have been posting. I have heard from other collectors that I am friends with and you guys know who you are. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to point anyone out, but anyone that has reached out to me privately, whether it be pretty much mainly on Instagram, sometimes emails, things like that, but mainly over on Instagram, I have received private messages also in my YouTube comments as well. But if they wanted to send me something private, it's on Instagram. I really do appreciate everyone from the community that has been positive about my situation with what I'm going through, supporting me, getting behind me, because it could be, I don't, I don't, do I mean to say awkward and weird, but it, I don't know. It's just, it's not a conventional situation. You know, it's a very different situation with what I'm dealing with. And, you know, even though I am going on the buying freeze, my channel is going to continue to go on. And I just appreciate the fellow collectors that have reached out to me that are not judging me. 
that is what I appreciate the most because I feel like we live in a society nowadays where we're just supposed to be so accepting of everyone, no matter what, which is fine, which is fine. I've always gone by, I don't like to judge anyone because if I judge someone, how do I know someday in the future, I'm not going to be in the same situation as someone else. You know what I'm saying? So we're all going through something. We all have an issue. We all have a problem. No one is perfect on this planet at all. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's right to judge anyone. So I really do appreciate those other collectors on the YouTube platform that have reached out to me that are giving me love and support and you know we're here for you we're rooting for you that's what I love to hear the most we're rooting for you these people are behind me but I will say at the same time there have been several instances where there's creators out there I expected to hear from and I have not heard from at all neither positive or negative so that's a little eye-opening, you know, where you think you are friends with someone on a platform and, you know, if that person was in my situation, I would reach out to them and I would say, you know, I got your back. I'm here for you. If you need to talk, you know, anything like that. But there's some people out there that I guess have chosen to remain neutral. I don't know. They're just not saying anything positive or negative, which is fine. But what is really eye-opening to me is that there are a couple of content creators that, yet again, I'm not going to name, but I have noticed that one in particular has chosen to piggyback off of my debt confession and start making material about debt for their YouTube channel content. That I do not appreciate because I feel like if you are going through the same situation, that's different. If this content creator was going through their own debt journey and you want to make content about your journey and advise people about debt, that is great. I do not own the topic of debt. Okay. Anyone can talk about debt, but all I'm going to say is that this person in particular, and they know who they are, they know who they are. This person in particular had never posted anything about going into debt over physical media before I posted my content about it. Before my debt confession, this person did not discuss debt collecting or debt when it comes to physical media collecting. So is it just a big, huge coincidence? Could be. It could be. But I'm not that naive. I'm just going to say that. So that I did not appreciate. That kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Again, if this person wanted to take their own personal debt situation and talk about it, that'd be great. That'd be great. And just, you know, advise people with your own experience. But I felt like it was kind of taking my video and using my situation, my name. I watched the entire video, by the way. My name was never mentioned. You know, nothing, nothing about me was mentioned, but it's pretty obvious who you're taking this content from because I'm pretty sure I'm the only person, you know, physical media collector on YouTube that's talking and being so open about this subject right now. So it was kind of, it just, just hit me the wrong way. It just hit me the wrong way. So that was eye opening for myself. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to rock with this person anymore. I'm not going to rock with this person because I see you. I see you for who you are and what you're doing. The thing is, situations like this, and I know I'm being really open right now, but you know what? This is true. This is true and this is real. This is what you guys love about me because I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm honest and I reveal my truth and I talk about it. So seeing that from a fellow creator really agitated me and rubbed me the wrong way. So I know now I'm not going to rock with you. We're done. That's it. Continue to create your content, but stick with what you do. Stick with what you do in case this person watches this video, which they probably will. Just saying they probably will. 
stick with your own content. That's all I'm going to say. Another example of a different content creator, again, not saying who they are, but I did notice in an Insta story that they posted. I'm not going to say exactly what it was, but all I'm going to say is that it was a jab. It was a jab towards me. I know it was. I know it was. And I just thought that was really, really in bad taste. Really bad taste. You can, you know, feel like it's a joke if you want to, because there was a joking, laughing, smiling emoji face along with the, the jab that they made in the Insta story. Okay, fine. If you think I'm a joke, okay, fine. That is fine. You want to have that opinion of me. But by you posting that, by this person posting that, really makes me see you for who you are. You are not a supportive person of me. And I don't think you'd probably be supportive of anyone else in this, in this situation, you know, that's, that's collecting on YouTube. That's the impression that I'm getting. Maybe this person just doesn't like me. I'm not really sure. Maybe, I, I, I don't know. I really have no explanation, but I did see that. I believe last night, yesterday sometime last night. And that really just, you know, it, it just, it's the little digs, you know, the little digs and the little jabs. They're not necessary. You know, like I know what my situation is. What you're doing is not going to, you know, prevent me from reaching my goal. I'm not really sure what your intent was by posting that. I'm not sure if that creator is going to watch this video or not, but all I got to say is shame on you. Shame on you. It's not like this person and I were ever really close, but we were a part of a community. And now along with that other content creator that I was previously talking about, I see you. I see you. And I see you for who you really are. Because I feel like in times like this, when a person is down, you know who's there for you. You know who's there for you by their reactions and how they treat you and what they say. So for these two content creators to do what they have done really shows a lot. And by the way, neither one of them ever reached out to me to offer any kind of support or kind words or anything like that. They chose to, you know, piggyback off my content or just be completely negative. So now I know. Now I know. So this was, again, just a giant ramble, very eye-opening to me. This has been happening the past four days since I did post my debt confession video. And I know I keep overusing the word eye-opening, but this was truly an eye-opening experience the past four days. Like, I can't even believe that my video has gotten so many reactions and people are posting on Twitter and Reddit. And now I know where I stand with a lot of other physical media collectors. And you know what? It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. And I guess it's for the best. I don't know. But all I'm going to say is, you know, once again, I really do appreciate all the love and the support that I have received with a lot of my videos that I've been posting lately you know, 95% has been so positive and supportive. Of course, there are those negative Nancy's out there, you know, you know, saying, take responsibility. What do you think I'm doing? I'm taking responsibility right now. Right now I'm changing. You know, I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim. I am acknowledging. I'm not looking for sympathy in any way. Not at all. Not at all. I am just sharing my life as life is going along and you know what this is going to be how the channel is going to go forth moving forward because my channel is doing extremely well right now and this is this existing format that I've been doing with the rambling videos they are here to stay I mean obviously I'm not going to talk about debt forever that's not going to happen I'm going to change it you know to more movies and physical media of course but I like doing these rambling videos because they're easy. I can just sit down and just talk and talk and talk until the cows come home, whatever you want to say. But videos like this are going to continue to exist on my channel. And so I really appreciate everyone out there 
you know, accepting me like this now and supporting me and loving me and all the kind words that you've had. It really truly does mean the world to me. So I'm ending this ramble right now. I am done, but that has been the physical media community's reaction to my deck confession four days ago. Now in a couple of hours, you're going to get video number two. So get excited. Video number two for today is going to be my entire horror DVD collection. It's not the biggest collection. I'm taking baby steps, but I think I got, I'm looking over because I have the stack right next to me because I'm recording right after this one. But I think I have a very nice DVD pile to show you. So I'm excited to upload that video as well. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you're digging the content, you're liking the vibe, I really would appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.